hello guys welcome back in this video i'm going to show all of my aquariums i have one planted aquarium here right here i have one freshwater aquarium which is kept with discus and uh, one turtle aquarium holding a big turtle that i am going to show you also i have one small uh, vivarium where uh, i am keeping a small turtle so i am going to show all of these aquariums that i have also uh, i i was planning to make a marine aquarium but i couldn't make it because uh, i spent my money on my kitchen renovation i have uploaded a video on my other channel so you can go and watch my other channels and keep updates on my other videos also in this before starting this video make sure you like and share this video at the end of the video if you liked it and also subscribe and turn on the notification to watch my upcoming videos so without further ado let's get started so i have a pond mini pond but it is of no use it does not have any filter it is run by rain water you can see right there So I will be adding filter to this aquarium later in the future. Make sure you subscribe and keep updates on my upcoming videos to learn more about this. So here is my planted aquarium. You can see here. It requires very little maintenance. It has added filter, but it uh, has no. carbon dioxide requiring plants so i have removed all the carbon dioxide requiring plants so there is no carbon dioxide cylinder but later sometime i will be adding some carbon dioxide cylinder i have the amazon sod dwarf anubias sagittarius and two platys that's it for this planted aquarium Sorry to say that uh, I have couldn't make much updates. I have spent money on other things also, like uh, I have added my good bed in my room. Also, I am renovating my kitchen room. Here you can see that I have added tiles on my kitchen room, so it is being renovated. This is the planted aquarium with two platys. I have added some plants as well. There is Amazon sod, Sagittaria, Anubias. Since these plants don't require carbon dioxide much, so I I don't need to add much of the carbon dioxide cylinder, and it does not affect the health of these platys as well. I intend to breed them. I don't know at the general about. this platys but if you do please comment it in the comment section i feed it this spirulina this rounded food like things that looks like something like this this is the food spirulina they used to eat the red ones only they don't eat the green ones they eat the spirulina doesn't fit their mouth but still they used to eat it bit by bit and used to somehow take the food there it is there goes this is the discus aquarium though the background is not that good but the aquarium is doing well I have to discuss one is the this one is the checkerboard pigeon and the side one is the uh, mystic uh, sorry sun red discuss the mystic red one is this one this are the mystic red discuss the next aquarium I have is this turtle aquarium 
I have now a 8 inch turtle, female turtle. I want to sell this turtle. I am living near Kotem in Kerala. So anyone have which has a pond can you can take this turtle from me. Also I have a small vivarium with the small turtle. This is a small turtle it was sleeping here. But uh, right now it is awake. It is very small right now. This is the male turtle. This is the female turtle and uh, this is the bigger one. Earlier the small turtle was a male one. I want to sell this turtle if anyone wants to buy it. I am living near Kotem in Kerala, India. So they can drop their phone number if they have a well pond. I can give this turtle at reasonable price. I used to feed it this turtle food. It is empty right now. It is called the turtle pellets. It is somewhat empty. I have to buy a new one. This is the discus eating their foods. I used to feed them tetra bits and black worms. Uh, black worms uh, cubes are there so I used to stick them on the aquarium wall and I used to eat it. This is a checkerboard pigeon going for the black worms and the mystic red uh, sorry the, not the mystic red the sun red is beside it and this is the mystic red I think so. This is the tetra bits and the black worms that I used to feed them. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all of my aquariums. Please do comment about the questions that I asked. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then bye and take care and thanks for watching.